I was sitting in a chair next to the bed. I could see out the window. A bad storm moved in. It rained hard. It was a real gully washer. And the thunder rumbled. It shook the windows. The thunder sounded like something big stomping across the sky. I'm not exaggerating. It was bad. The lightning was bad too. One strike after another. It almost seemed like a strobe light going off in the sky. It might have been the worst I've ever seen. The storm finally moved out about sunset, leaving a heavy white mist behind. The mist was thick. I don't think I've ever seen a mist any thicker. It didn't seem natural. I know that probably sounds odd, but this mist seemed unnatural. It didn't even seem to move naturally. I'd never seen a mist move like this one. It moved like a wall would move, in a straight line. I guess that makes sense. I can't describe it any better than that. The mist wasn't normal. It didn't look natural. The mist gave me a sense of unease, even though I was inside. I had never had that feeling before about mist. Of course, I always get that feeling of unease about mist now. The mist made me very uneasy. It didn't seem in the least bit to be natural. I could easily imagine something in the mist, something sinister, malevolent. I discovered I was right, but I'll get to that shortly. I watched the mist until they brought my supper. My sense of unease continued to build as the mist moved closer and closer. It didn't seem natural at all. When they brought my supper, I got them to help me into bed. Then I ate. I watched the news. They talked about the storm, but made no mention of the mist, which I found to be rather odd. They should have been warning people about the mist. They should have been warning them to take care if they had to drive. The mist was the thickest I've ever seen. You couldn't see a thing. It was a heavy white mist. I wondered why they didn't mention it then. Now I wonder if they ever saw it. I know that makes no sense, but maybe it will, shortly. After the news went off, I turned the TV off. There was nothing I wanted to see. I had a book. I don't remember where it came from. I don't even remember the title. I do remember it was an anthology book of old horror stories. The book had a couple H.P. Lovecraft stories, an Edgar Allan Poe story, and many other authors. I don't remember many of the stories in the book. It was 23 years ago, after all. But I do remember three stories, the three I read that night. The three stories were The Whisperer in the Darkness by H.P. Lovecraft, The Monkey's Paw by W.W. W. Jacobs, and August Heat by W. F. Harvey. I read those stories, then realized something rather odd. The hospital was quiet, almost too quiet. It was as if I was alone. I know what you're probably thinking. Everyone was just trying to be quiet, but it wasn't like that. There were no sounds at all. It was almost as if the section of hospital that I was in was deserted. It had that feel, too. I looked out into the hallway. There was very little light. Then even that light winked out. I began to get scared. I reached for the call button to call the nurse, then froze. The door to the staff stairwell was open a crack, and there was a strange red glow shining through the crack. As I stared at the door, it began to swing open very slowly. It creaked. The door stopped moving when it was about a quarter of the way open. The red glow was brighter, and I saw something very strange in the opening. There was a mist in the stairwell, a heavy white mist. I stared at that mist for a long time. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. 
A cold chill ran through me. I reached for the call button, then froze again. I heard another long creak. The door was opening wider, moving slowly, ever so slowly, creaking as it moved. I watched it open, fascinated and terrified at the same time. I was fascinated by the mist in the stairwell, but terrified by what might be revealed when the door swung open fully. I wanted to look away, wanted to get away, but I could do neither. The door continued to open, slowly, so damn slowly, creaking the whole time. I watched in terrified silence. I couldn't move, couldn't scream. All I could do was watch. The door finally opened wide. I could see nothing of the stairwell itself. All I could see was that mist and the strange red glow. The red glow made the mist look almost like blood. As I looked at the doorway, a dark shadow moved in the mist. It moved forward. I was finally able to see what the red glow was. It was the thing's eyes. They were blazing red. I began to shake. The thing watched me for a moment. Then it moved to the threshold of the door. I tried to move, tried to scream, but I could do neither. I was paralyzed by fear. The thing stood at the threshold, watching me. It stood there for several moments. Then its eyes blazed brighter. It almost blinded me. The thing spoke. I can't describe what it sounded like. There aren't words to describe the sound. The closest I've ever heard is something demonic. But that's not even right. I'm not talking about demonic voices like you hear in the movies or on TV. They can't do that voice justice. Not even close. I don't think human vocal cords can make that sound. The voice sent cold chills through me. It was as if my blood had turned to ice. My body broke out into goosebumps. All the hair on my body stood up and began to crawl. And my bowels and bladder let go. The voice scared the shit out of me. Literally. The voice has never left me. I hear it even now. It caused me many sleepless nights over the years. The words have never left me either. The creature only spoke four words. But that was enough. Too much, actually. Those words have haunted me. The four words were, Not yet, but soon. After the creature spoke, it stood where it was for a moment. Then it slowly backed away. Within a moment, the red glow vanished, leaving only the mist in the stairwell. The door stood open for a moment longer. Then it began to slowly creak closed. When the door shut, the lights came back on, and I began to hear noises in the hospital again. The noises were fairly quiet, but I could hear them. They were normal noises. That happened exactly 23 years ago today, because today is Halloween. I told you everything was about the same as it had been on that day, but I didn't explain it fully. Everything is almost exactly the same as it was that day. It was extremely hot today, more like a day in August than a day at the end of October. The heat was stifling, almost bad enough to drive a person mad. The day has been almost exactly like it was that day. There was a bad storm earlier. It's over now, but it left a heavy mist behind. It's actually the same as it was that day. Everything is the same, except for the room number. I just looked out into the hallway again. The badge reader isn't flickering anymore. It is showing green. I just heard the door creak open a moment ago. All the lights just went out. The only light I see is the green light on the card reader and a strange red glow. I don't hear a sound in the hospital, nothing at all. 
except for the creaking door. I hear that very well. Too well, in fact. The door is creaking open, slowly, so slowly. But it'll be open soon enough. I know exactly what I'll see when the door opens. I'll see that mist in the stairwell, and the creature with the blazing red eyes. That mist in the stairwell is back. I can see it, and I know the creature is back, even though I can't see it yet. It told me, not yet, but soon, 23 years ago. That's probably nothing but a blink of an eye to that creature. Just a blink. I saw death on the other side of that door 23 years ago. It's back for me. It's in that mist in the stairwell. And it will take me with it this time. It will take me into that mist in the stairwell. There's a house by the cemetery. There's a house by the